In the previous lesson, you learned how to import products to your store using the AutoDS platform to help optimize and automate the process. In this lesson, you are going to learn how to create a powerful product page which will help you convert one-time viewers into buyers. Now, for those of you who don't know, the product page is a very, very important page which showcases your product. This is the page where the viewer will view the product and decide if he wants to click on that add to cart and proceed with the checkout process. Therefore, it's very crucial to know how to create a very good converting and powerful product page. Also, don't forget that in a few lessons from now, when you will finally learn how to create your own Facebook ads, you are going to target your ads to the product page and not to your home page or any other page. So let's go ahead and get started. In the previous lesson, your assignment was to add those products from the product research spreadsheet and import them to your stores using AutoDS. Now that that's done, let's head over to the platform and on the left side, click on drafts. And here we have that product from the previous lesson. You should be seeing your products from the product research spreadsheet. Let me just add another product just for the variety. This time, instead of using the import to AutoDS, I'm going to show you the second method where you just copy the web address, click on add products and simply paste it over here. Now just simply click on next and keep clicking on next until you get to the last option. Add as a draft instead of publish it straight to your store. Here we go, here it is. Very quick and very efficient. So now we have two products in our drafts page. Now let's start optimizing them and import them to our stores. Click on the arrow that you see over here to begin the edit process. You can also do it on multiple items at once. So let's start with this one, the two dog reflective retractable pet leash. So first of all, let's work on the product's title because at this point it's copied just as we saw it on the source site. I'm going to start off by deleting the brand name Two dog reflective retractable pet leash. This is a product feature, which we don't need in the title at this point, two dogs, each up to 50 pounds. That's more technical information that we do not need at the title at this point, reflective orange green LEDs dual lock. Let's see if there's anything else that we can add to the title. So it has an untangling mechanism. So let's just add tangle free. Okay. And this title looks good. Now let's move on to the next tab. We have collections. So on Shopify, you can add your products to certain collections and then showcase those collections anywhere you want on your website. So in this case, I will just add it to the homepage collection. In the next lesson, we're going to go over the homepage and you'll have a clearer picture of what's going on. Now the product tags is an important feature where you will be able to tag your products and then you'll be able to later on come back and see exactly how those products performed. For example, since we're in the pet niche, let's create a tag for pets. And let's say I want to add a whole bunch of dog leashes onto my shop. So I also want to check out how the dog leashes are going for me in my store. So let's create another tag called dog leash. Next, choose your shipping method. So AutoDS will know exactly how to price this product for you. So I'm going to go with the cheapest with tracking because providing tracking information is very important for your own protection. Next in the country location, choose which country this product is being shipped from. So since in this case, I went with Amazon US, I'm going to keep it in the United States. And here you have to choose the city location, which connects to the country location, which the product is being shipped from. If you don't know the city location, you can just leave it as it is. Just make sure that the country location is correct because you don't want customers complaining that you said that the product is going to be shipped from the US and at the end, they're going to see from the tracking information that it's being shipped from China. So just make sure that the country location is correct and moving on to the brand. You can choose if you want the customer to see the brand's name. And if you don't want the customer to see the brand's name, you can just change it. For example, to branded since it's a small brand and nobody's going to go and look for that specific brand anyway but that's just another way to do it. And here on the bottom, stock monitoring is enabled, price monitoring is enabled and auto ordering is enabled. So that's it for the products tab. Now we're going to move on to the products description. And here is where you have to get creative. Now for starting off, AutoDS took all of the products description from the source site, as we can see it over here on the right side. So all of the products description that you see over here is exactly what we can see here on the products page. 
but we're not going to leave it exactly like this because once again, we want professional product pages. And it's not that there's nothing not professional with Amazon's product descriptions, but you simply do not want to work in a copy and paste form. This is not smart for the dropshipping business model. I've seen many dropshippers who just copy and paste the product descriptions without going over them. And it just doesn't look good. And I really doubt that they're making any good sales this way. So here's the product description that we already have. Let's just go over it really quick and see what we can improve. Okay, so I wrote a product description. I made bullet points that are similar to the bullet points that already existed. I simply wrote them in my own words and made it sound a little bit more convincing. So that's pretty much what you need to do in the product page. Keep in mind that you have to use your creative mind in the product page to convince the customer why he needs to buy this product and what problem it solves. So let's see the opening line. The struggle of walking two dogs with two separate leashes is over. No more tangles, no more hassle. With this dual dog leash, you have full control over each dog. Your dogs have the freedom to enjoy their walk and you have an extra hand to help you open doors or hold your umbrella. This is the problem that it's solving for many, many people. When they're walking two dogs with two separate leashes, they have no hands available to help them with anything that they may need. Practical, convenient, cheaper than having two separate leashes and much more comfortable. Join the thousands of satisfied customers who are enjoying their dual dog leash and their pets. Then you have the bullet points, which are showing all of the product's features. I will delete the bullet points that the supplier wrote since we already have our own much more convincing bullet points. And don't forget to add the product specifications. Every specification that you have from the supplier page, make sure that you're adding it to the product page because most viewers have questions that they may want to ask. And when you answer those questions in advance, they won't have to bother reaching out to you. And most of them won't reach out to you. They'll simply move on to the next competitor. So make sure that you're adding all of the information that you have possible from your source page. Now let's go to our source page and see if we missed out anything that might be relevant. So we have the product's title, we have bullet points, we have a good converting product description, all of the features that we're seeing here, 360 degree technology, control each leash individually, color coded, reflective, up to 50 pounds each dog, 10 foot length each one, and a soft and comfortable handle. So all of these features, I already have it on the product page. And here is a converting product description in words, which we already did also. So there's nothing left to be added. The product description is on point. Make sure that you're going through all of the text options that you have available to change up the text, the sizes, make some words bald, italic, underlined, and so forth. You can even add links and images and videos to your product page. And I definitely encourage you guys to add product videos and GIFs if you have them available, because on Shopify, it's super easy to add product videos to your product pages. But more importantly, it's playing a crucial role in convincing the viewer to buy this product. But don't worry, you're going to learn all about product videos soon. I'm going to teach you guys how to create your own videos for your products and then we'll also add them to the product page. So let's skip that for now. Next, you have your product variants. So since there's only one variant here, we're just gonna go with that one and click on edit. And here you can change the product's quantity, the break even, which is how many fees you're paying for this product. You have to make sure that you know exactly how many fees you're paying. It depends which platform you're selling on, which in this case, it's Shopify. And it also depends on your payment providers. And if you want to know how much fees you're currently paying, simply head over to Shopify, click on settings and payment providers, and you'll be able to see your third party payment providers over here. And also check out your Shopify subscription where here you can see your Shopify payments. The subscription that you chose will show you the transaction fees that you're paying for that current subscription, as you can see over here. So calculate your break even, add it to the break even line over here. Next, you can choose the price that you want to sell for. And if you don't know exactly how much you're going to profit, that's exactly why you have your break even. So AutoDS knows that if the product costs $32.24 and on that you have to add another 17% because that's your break even fees, then your total profit will be $3.52 if you're selling for $43.09. So for example, on this product, I want to make 20% profit and another 30 cents 
because that's another fee that PayPal takes from me, which is not counted in the break even percentage. So in order to make 20% profit, I need to sell this product for $46.97. My total profit will be $6.75 and I have no problem with that whatsoever. Here you can choose if you want to include the shipping price inside the product sell price. So let's keep it as it is and click on save. So now we've priced out our variant and we're making exactly the profit that we want to make. Now let's move on to the images. And here are the options that you have for each image. First, you can add more images by clicking the plus button. And if you hover over each image, you'll have the option to copy this image, which means make another copy of this image on the product page. You can rotate it if it's not straight. You can flip the image, which means make a mirror flip like this. And you can add a watermark if you have one and you don't want people to steal your product images. Now, if you want a different picture to be your main image, it's also no problem. Simply hover over it and click set as main image. So that's pretty much it when it comes to product images. In this case, I'm not going to change the image. I'm going to keep it as it is and we're going to move on. And here, last but not least, you have your item specifics. Now, as you can see here, AutoDS took the item specifics from the source page and added it over here. So it's already saving you guys a lot of time from going to your sources page and trying to find that information. It has the exact dimensions and the product's weight. And if you have any more information on the product which isn't showing up on the product's item specifics, you can simply add more specifics by clicking on add item, enter the exact specific that you want to write, for example, color, and in the description, you can write black, green, and red because it's a combination of all three colors. Click on add. And that's it. You can edit each item specific one by one, delete them one by one, or edit all of them at the same time. As you can see here, edit whatever you want, finish editing or cancel editing. So once we're done filling in all of these columns, we know that our product is ready to be published to our stores. So the next step is to simply click on save just to make sure that nothing will be changed or deleted. And now click on the import button. Now what AutoDS is doing is it's taking the product from the drafts page over here on the left and it's going to move it to the products page. There we go. That is done. Now if we click on the products page, here it is. Now this means that AutoDS is monitoring this product. It's monitoring the stock. It's monitoring the prices. But more than that, the product is now live on your store and viewers can already go in and start buying this product because they see it available in your store. Not that they can yet because you're probably still under your free trial and you didn't open any Shopify subscription yet. But once you do, your store will be live and this product will be live inside that store. So now that the product is live on our stores, let's head over to Shopify and check it out from there. So here you have your Shopify dashboard. Click on products on the left side. And here, as you can see, the product is available. The status is active, which means it's alive and people can go in and buy it. If you click on it, you'll be taken to the product editing page through Shopify. And here on the top right, go ahead and click on more actions and preview to get a glimpse of how the product page looks like. So you have your title, you have your price, you have your product photos, and you have the product description which you wrote. Going over everything that the product does and the problem that it solves. Don't worry about how everything else looks. For example, the logo and the banner and the links on the side. This is just a rough draft of your first product. What's important is to nail down all of the important things, a good title, high quality photos, and a good description, which goes over everything. As you can see, AutoDS did all of this work for us. We didn't have to use Shopify's platform. Everything was done through AutoDS. And that's how simple it is to create your own product page with the help of the AutoDS platform, which helps you automate and optimize your product page without you having to do all of the hard work. All you have to do is be creative, know exactly what problem your product solves, make sure that it's written out really well in your product description, make sure that you have enough photos, and regarding a video for the product, once again, we're going to get into that soon. We're doing everything step by step, so make sure that you understood each and every step that you need to take in order to create a good, high quality converting product page, and that is definitely good enough for the stage that you are on. Your assignment for this lesson is to create a product page for each and every one of the products that you added to your stores using the AutoDS platform. Once again, everything needs to be done through AutoDS so that everything will be optimized. AutoDS will do most of the hard work for you. So go ahead and do it on each and every one of the products that you added to your stores. 
And I'll see you in the next lesson where you will learn how to create a killer homepage. See you in the next lesson.